Hi there, this is Mike from Final Cut Pro Classes. What I'm going to do today is show you how to use masks in Final Cut Pro to cover areas in another video clip that you may not want to see in your finished video. As an example, I'm going to use some video I shot recently that you could see right here. I was shooting in an attic, shooting straight down. And because of the angle, I caught the tripod leg in the frame, and I don't want to see that in my finished video. And I also don't really want to see this black bag in the finished video. So I want my finished video clip to look more like this. So I'll go through each step of the process. Step number one, I need some video that's similar to the original video. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but it has to be similar to, and it has to have the same area here where I don't have the uh, tripod leg or the bag showing in the footage. So I went back to the attic that you can see here, reshot some similar footage, and I pulled the tripod back, moved the bag out of the way. And this footage is good. I only have a couple of minutes of that, but that'll do. The next thing I want to do is take that new footage, and I want to drop that down into my timeline as a connected clip right over the original video. And that's what you see here. Here's the original, here's the connected clip. Step number three, I want to reposition the connected clip so it's in exactly the same position. This, so this opening is in exactly the same position as the original video clip. Now to do that, I'm going to select my connected clip, open the inspector. And I'm going to adjust the opacity down on the connected clip so I could see the original video clip underneath it. So there's the original video and here's the connected clip. The next step is I'm going to reduce the size down 50% so I could see the edges. I'm going to activate the transform tool. I'm going to reposition the connected clip over the original video clip so that the opening lines up exactly. Turn this back a little bit there. Takes a little bit to get it right in the right position, but that looks pretty good. I want to apply a mask to the connected clip to make certain areas of the connected clip transparent. And I want to make every part of this connected clip transparent except for the area right here where I'm trying to cover the tripod leg and bag. So to apply a mask, the first thing I want to do is open my effects browser in Final Cut. I want to find the mask, so I'm going to type in mask. And here's my selection of masks, and I'm going to use this four-point mask right here. Now I want to make sure my connected clip is selected and then I'm going to double click the four point mask to apply it to my connected clip. So if I turn off my transform tool I can see the four point mask over the connected clip. Now the way these masks work is the areas outside of the four points are the part of the clip that's going to be transparent and everything inside the four points will remain opaque. So I want to adjust these four points so that the only part of the connected clip that remains non-transparent is that part that's covering the tripod and the black bag. So I'm going to reposition that. And move this point a little bit right there. So that's pretty good do is I can try to soften some of the hard edges of this mask by adjusting both the roundness and by feathering it a little bit. So I'm going to adjust the roundness and you can barely see it but that edge right here is getting around and that helps to get rid of that hard edge and then I can also feather the edges slightly to soften those up. Now it's very very hard to tell if I 
move my opacity back up to 100. For the connected clip, it's very hard to tell where the edges are on that mask. So now my original clip is here and my finished video There we go. There's my finished video. Now if I wanted to cover more of the original video with the uh, connected clip, I can just copy it. And I can simply paste that over my original video again and just make that last a little bit longer. So again, there's my original video and here's my finished video. So that's one way to use masks in Final Cut Pro to cover areas in another video clip that you may not want to see in your finished video.